What is up YouTube and welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So today me and Adam are at Kota Circuit in IT Prefecture, Japan. And we're gonna test out some mini bikes today. So our friend Byron runs a company that sells uh, Koya. What is it, MR150? I think it's MR150 uh, race bikes. So we're gonna test them on the track today and see what they're like. So let's go, let's go. A few months ago, our friend Byron asked us if we were interested in entering an endurance race on the Mini GP bikes that he sells through his company Misano Moto Imports Japan. We jumped at the chance and today we're going to be test riding the bikes to see if we fit on them, if we're comfortable and basically if we're good enough to enter an actual race. So Byron wants to see what we're made of and we want to see what the bikes are made of. But before we ride, let's have a quick chat with Byron and find out what's the score with Mini GP bikes. So Byron, I'm looking forward to riding your MR150 today, but can you tell me, I've already got a 1000cc street bike, so why would I want to buy a mini bike? Well, if you have a 1000cc bike, how confident are you on it? Pretty confident. Pretty confident. I'm also kind of scared that if I crash, it's going to cost a lot of money. It probably would. So the purpose of having a mini bike is as a training tool. Uh, don't think of it just as a bike that you would enter into a race with. Yeah. Uh, seat time is what people need and uh, you know you're gonna have a low maintenance cost uh, they crash really well yeah. um, you can learn everything that you would on a thousand cc on a smaller bike it's basically everything sort of scaled down uh, in size and speed so when you make a turn or a stop it's pretty much going to be the same body movements that you'd be making on a thousand cc so you can get the muscle memory built in right, okay. do all that on a small bike yeah. and then go to the next increment up okay. average retail price is 330,000 plus tax okay so it's about three thousand dollars something like yeah, that. yeah if you were to convert to us dollars yeah. okay so what do i get for that money you would get a race ready bike yeah. uh, they come with slicks um, probably the first performance upgrade I would change would be, other than the tires, uh, would be the rear sets. And that's going to set you back maybe like 150 bucks, so Ichiman Gosan. Yeah. With the slicks, I would definitely recommend tire warmers, but it's probably best just to have a regular, like a CST or um, Dunlop or Bridgetone tire. Because uh, really, you want to get the seat time. If you're if you're going into a race, then you'll want to get you know the most expensive tire, uh, the grippiest, softest one that you're going to discard after the race. <laughs> so if you're going to go for a season of track time, you know something you know off the shelf like a TT93 or a CST uh, style tire would be fine.
YouTube? No, that's my bike. <laughs> Alright, so Adam, you've already had a go on the bike. How I have. Uh, how was it? Fantastic, man. Way more fun than I thought it would be. Yeah. Way more fun than I thought it would be. And not intimidated. I was intimidated by the reversed... By, yeah, the GP shift. That's it. That's the language I was looking for at first. But once you're out there, not thinking about it, you just yeah. do it naturally. It's no problem, man. Now, you got your knee down, but it seems yes, like I you did. got your arm Proud. down as well. I did get my arm what down. Happened, um, I, I spent that entire time trying to get my knee down, yeah. which I finally did. And uh, it feels good, man. But I was pushing it too hard. And I did the slowest crash of my life <laughs> ever. And just the bike slid out from under me at the hairpin there. Yeah, but that's it, like that shows you as well the the kind of safety level of it because the speeds are kind of much slower than your Ducati or my Super Duke. When you I crash, got a Ducati, eh? The Ducati. <sighs> but when you crashed, like what? It didn't... Well, there was a guy with a flag. He just looked at me like I thought he was going to come rushing over and panic, but he just watched me pick up the bike and put it on. Like as far as I could see, the only real damage is a slightly bent brake lever. Yeah. But yeah, man, it, it reminded me of snowboarding, where you just fall off and then just get back up. Yeah, yeah it was really so much fun. Yeah. No, no worries there. If it was on my Ducati, I'd literally be in tears now. Yeah. My day would be ruined. And, yeah, I think so. Yeah, and Byron and it, says as well, like, the peg is only 2,000 yen, so like $20 to replace the peg. Yeah, exactly. Imagine I, how much that costs on the Panigale. Yeah, I mean, just the peg alone, I think I recently bought it. was like yeah. itchy mango sinan, ridiculous. So it is a cost-effective way of getting our kicks, isn't it? Totally, and I, I just feel like I wish I'd known about this when I was 15 or 16, started riding, because that's where you learn all your skills. Finally, I got my knee down after so much time yeah. trying on a bigger bike. One thing that surprised me is that this, there's not a lot of steering going on. Yeah. Like, you, you can't get the bike around the track without leaning it. Like, so you naturally have to do it, otherwise you're just going to go into the, well, you're going to go off the track. Yeah. Low side did it. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> My fucking shoulder again. Oh, no. The low side did it. Oh, Fuck, yeah. sorry man. Oh. Alright guys, so that's the end of our day today. We had real good fun. <laughs> I managed to crash. Adam managed to crash. You didn't crash, did you? No. No. So we had two crashes. I screwed up the brake. Uh, what do you call it, the brake protector, and when I crashed the rear brake lever pulled the master cylinder clean off, so the bike couldn't be ridden again today, so sorry Byron. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and on March 27th we're going to be doing a two hour endurance race on the, the Posh bike, so stay tuned for that guys, see you next time. <laughs>